Hey, Mike, it seems like you guys are capable of putting good stretches of offense together, just maybe not for long, consistent parts of games. What's it going to take to make that transition and do it all the time? Uh, improving, getting better. Uh, watching film, getting, getting, figuring it out. Uh, just not, not in sync on offense right now. Is that the, you say that's the biggest thing holding you guys back right now? I don't know. I don't know what the biggest thing on this back. We, we, we got we got some soul searching to do. Myself included. Thanks, Mike. Next question is for Mike Cabrera. Sorry, guys, for the f feedback. Um, uh, next question to Mike. Next question to Michael Go. Yeah, Mike. Art, I know you're trying to share some senior leadership. Art, are your teammates kind of following and showing the kind of fight and scrap that you guys need to win at this level? Um, our teammates. I love my teammates. My teammates, they, their hearts are in the right places. It's new to a lot of them, and uh, they're figuring it out. And um, I'm with them every step of the way as they, to try to help them figure it out, whatever it takes. And um, as I said, we're going to go back, uh, learn from it, and I'm going to try to help them in any way I can. And when, it, when it comes to the offensive efficiency, are you guys – are you guys working the ball like you need to and setting the screens and just running an efficient offense that, that needs to be run? I mean, not, no. I mean, we're not putting points up on the board, so no, our offense is not what, what it needs to be. And I, I don't know what's the issue, but uh, we got to figure it out. Or I, I, and uh, yeah, learn from it, get better. Thanks, Mike. Uh, other questions for Mike McGurl before I let him go? Okay, next question to Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Mike, uh, just for you, how, how tough is, is this to, as the lone senior on the team? It just after every single loss, it seems like you, you come in here and you meet with us and you take all the responsibility. But this, this has to be really tough on you mentally, doesn't it? Uh, just having to deal with this constantly. Uh, I've said it time and time again. I'm blessed, and I'm very grateful to be in my position. And I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. And I'm, I'm thankful, I'm thankful for my coaches. I'm thankful for my teammates. And um, yeah, we're down right now, but uh, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not the type to just put our heads down and quit. It's moving forward. It's gotta move forward. Mike, when you're in the midst of this kind of losing streak the team is, team's in, where, where is it that you find this kind of optimism to stay upbeat? Because I know it can't be easy. Uh, just knowing that uh, it's, it's, it's beyond basketball. Life is good itself. Uh, uh, we got so many great things going for us as men. And um, we're just, we're all blessed to be in the positions we're in. We're not, we're not in war. We're not in bad situation. Like we're, we're blessed. So it's basketball at the end of the day. And yeah, we do got to get better and do some soul searching, but you know, keep, just keep things in perspective. We're, we're, we're all right. And, and last thing for me, Mike, is we know how much, uh, just how fiery a passion that Dejuan has for playing. How, how is he holding up mentally right now? I know it has to be hard not being able to be out here and play today. Dejuan, yeah. Uh, I know he wanted to be out there tonight with us. You know, you know him. But uh, right now, he's got to focus on his recovery and uh, getting back to. 100% full health before he even thinks about stepping on the court. And uh, he was with us the whole night on the bench talking to us. So, yeah. And, and Mike, was that more that he was just kind of offering encouragement or was he also giving you guys some coaching? Did he like notice some things that was going on? Yeah, up? for sure. Both, for sure. Uh, you know, Days Long, he's a vocal guy and uh, he's, he's got a lot of energy and fire to him. So, you know, it's coaching, it's enthusiasm, it's hyping people up, but he was there the whole game.